I've heard a lot of the same stories. You hit rough times. You can't do anything about it, but you try. So that's what I do. I um, have two daughters, Taylor and Alexia. I am an at-home CNA, which means I go to people's houses throughout the day. I help them get up, dress, shower. At night, I put them to bed, make them dinner. Money's always tight. It just doesn't go as far as it used to. The prices keep going up, but the pay stays the same. And no matter how hard you work, you can't get ahead. It's a very stressful feeling, like a knot in the bottom of your stomach, when you know that you want to do something for them or you want to give them something, and you can't. I honestly don't know what I would do without the food pantry. We know these families that are coming to these monthly food pantries depend on it. Many of the parents work multiple jobs and it's a struggle just to provide food and put food on the table. It helps us stock up our pantry and it helps us get more food in the house. Hunger is absolutely a problem with students in the classroom. The lack of nutrition or the quality of nutrition, it impacts their ability to focus and, and perform in the classroom. Families like Stacy's have come to depend on these services. It's hard to explain how much it helps. It doesn't just help once a month, it helps the whole month, every day, in the little ways. It helps me grow and be a smart learner. My family appreciates what they do. My kids, they wake up in the morning, they know there's breakfast. They can come home and they know there's snacks. We get fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. I've noticed a difference in their grades at school, and I think it's because I'm not as stressed about everything, so therefore, they're not as stressed about everything. We strive for our children to do better than we did. I try and help them get to where they want to be. I want them to be better. I want them to do better. I want them to be happy.